Well, I think just for the heck of it, I'm going to see if I can get this old Aaron's piece of junk to start. Uh, it hasn't been running a couple of years, and <clears throat> when it did run, it was a pain in the butt. But maybe we can make it go again. I have no idea. Uh, I do know I'm going to have to jump that battery because it is stone dead. And the easiest way, I think, to do it is take this front panel off and get at it from the front because... There's really no, not a whole lot of space in there to get at it from the back, so I'll get that panel off, we'll get some jumper cables on it, and see if it'll crank. Alright, I got the front panel off. What a horrible design, but got the front panel off, got it jumped to a good battery, and it probably won't run. We'll put it on choke anyway, and I'll turn the key and we'll see if it cranks. I highly doubt I flooded it, but... Probably got to work a bunch of gas up there anyway. Yeah, we'll get rid of choke again. Well, it'll crank, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the filter off, and we'll just give her a couple little sprays and see if it'll pop. Alright, I got the trusty carb spray that should make just about anything run. Let's see if we can do wonders with this. Apparently it cannot. Not even the spray could do it. Wonder if the fuel's just that horrible in it. It it don't smell good, I'll tell you that right now. Well I do have a sparking plug on there. That's still hooked up. I should have spark, I would imagine. Well, when a little bit of spray doesn't do it, give it more spray, why not? There we go, just douse it, it'll be fine. Or it'll blow up, either way. Or it'll do nothing. Yeah, that gas in there might not be too happy. I'll grab my little spark checker and we'll put on there, just see if it's got spark. I'm thinking it does and it's just real bad gas. But. Well, I kind of abandoned this project a while back when I realized it had no spark and uh, I definitely wasn't going to fix it in that boiling hot shed, but uh, I've since pulled it out of that shed. So I suppose we'll go ahead and see if we can make it run again. I'm going to go have, have to go ahead and take off this cover with the 8 million screws everywhere and uh, take a look at that coil and see why it doesn't have any spark this is why I didn't want to do it in the shed it's uh, dark in there and super hot and it's going to take a while so let's get to it alright I went ahead and I took all this crap off I really don't like Vanguard engines what do you need two covers for? Yeah, extra bolts anyway but I got all that crap off and I went ahead and I pulled the plug and plugged my spark tester in and grounded it here on the head and I did crank it over and I had no spark at first and then I got a little bit better spark and a little bit better spark and now I seem to have spark so I'm going to go ahead even though this plug isn't uh, isn't real great I'm going to screw it in plug the tester in and see if I get spark when I have the uh, spark plug in maybe there was just bad contact somewhere or uh, maybe some build up on the coil you know it's kind of nasty in here kind of hard to tell but We'll give it a try and see if we can get some spark through this spark plug. And if we do, and then maybe I'll try to start it. Alright, I went ahead and I put the plug back in and my spark tester on it. And I was getting spark, so I went ahead and took the spark tester out. And now I'm going to go ahead and give it a little, little shot of uh, starting fluid. Because I highly doubt it will run off whatever's in the tank. 
and we'll see if we can get it to pop off at least. Battery's still kind of weak, so it might not crank. I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, that's more than enough. Push the handle in, that's why it didn't stir or didn't crank. There we go. A little more. That's amazing. I did not think it would run off that gas that was in there because I could smell it just sitting next to it. But hey, it runs again. Now I'll put it back together and it won't run again. <laughs> we'll get it back together and uh, I suppose I'll charge that battery up and then uh, see if it'll still drive around. Alright, I got everything back together. Um, had the battery on the charger for a couple hours. It's junk. It's going to need a new battery, but hopefully there's enough juice in it. To get it to start, I hope. Let's see if it works. Oh, come on. Yeah, that battery's just junk. Shame. Yeah, I could probably find another one and we'll swap it out. Alright, I stuffed another battery in there. Hopefully, this one's somewhat decent. Well, I got the thing running and driving, and the deck even works. But the problem is this uh, this hydro is a little weak, and uh, I think it got uh, a little bit cooked and leaked out some of the fluid because that fan there is completely shredded on this side. And I was looking around trying to figure out how to add fluid to it just to see if I can make it work again, and I couldn't find anything. You can hardly see in there, but on the side that's still halfway decent I found this this is the vent tube it was completely broken off and just kinda of laying up there so I can't get that plug out down here to uh, add any fluid to it because there's no reservoir so if I wanted to try to fix this I would have to pretty much take the transmission down because there's no way I can get up in there on top of the transmission and try to get this out I don't think there's another little piece that screws in and it's uh, well it's stuck in there for now maybe I could try to find a bolt that will thread in there and I could well, it'd have to be a reverse thread maybe maybe I could do something but I don't think I'm gonna mess with that it does run and drive although it pulls to the right pretty good <laughs> but yeah at least I got it running I can move it around <laughs> 